I am Emily Bubbers. I am a general surgeon and colorectal surgeon here at St. Peter's Hospital. We are standing in our new endoscopy suite. We are in a location where we will be able to do all of our upper endoscopies and colonoscopies. Uh, we're moving locations in the hospital and they just built us this gorgeous new suite with uh, five rooms to do procedures in rather than the two that we had before. And we have 10 uh, recovery and admission bays versus before we had about four. So we have about doubled our capacity here um, with this new endoscopy suite. So brand new suite for multiple reasons. The location we were in was too small to begin with. Uh, Helena is growing and we're also aging. So screening colonoscopies start at the age of 50 and so if our population is aging, we're gonna have more people who are gonna need to get in. We're also behind in our screening process. So we have to catch up, which means we have more people who are gonna need to come in. And the um, Affordable Care Act actually covers your screening colonoscopy starting at 50. So anyone with health insurance um, who's coming in for a routine screening colonoscopy starting at 50, that's covered by their health insurance. So people who will come here are people who have been seen by their primary doctor and um, needed to have upper, either an upper endoscopy to look in a stomach for stomach problems or they're here for a colonoscopy either for screening for colon cancer or if they've had symptoms or if they've had a history of uh, colon or rectal cancer. So patients will come here for those procedures and those procedures use small flexible scopes to look inside at the esophagus, the stomach, the small bowel, as well as looking inside and looking at the rectum and the colon, trying to find if there are any problems um, or cancers. You know, the, the technology is improving, the visualization is improving, the screens, the monitors all have better high resolution to find smaller and smaller polyps. And so when we're looking in the colon for polyps, which are precancerous lesions, we're looking for things anywhere from about one millimeter in size up to over a centimeter. So we're able to magnify the lining of the colon and find these. So the earlier we find the cancer, or if we find polyps and remove them, the better the patients do. So anybody can get colon cancer. Um, it, you don't have to have a family history, you don't have to have any symptoms. And most patients that I find polyps on have never noticed a change in their bowel habits, have no abdominal pain. And so really having an, patients be able to get screened at a time that's convenient for them rather than waiting six months, nine months to get in um, will hopefully allow patients to schedule an appointment when it's convenient for them, encourage them to come in and get screened rather than being discouraged that they have to wait nine months to get their procedure done. Thank you.